Doma Sports Talk Worldwide with some news from the world of boxing so y'all know what time it is. You ain't in a rush to get concussed. Well, baby, Joseph Parker beats your boy Derek Chisora via split, to six, split decision, 116-111, 115-113, and then 113-115 for Chisora. Uh, split decision, uh, that's okay. I had it uh, a unanimous decision, you know, because we go. <laughs> my vote was, you know, I had it by 117, 114. I give a few rounds a tie. Uh, bottom line is, Derek Chazur was coming forward most of the fight. It was looking even better at the early part of the fight. Um, but at the end of the day, he was definitely getting, you know, jabbed and he was getting um, checked, left hooked all night long. Now, Chazur dropped Parker at the beginning, which didn't really look like a knockdown, but then at some angles it looked like, well, maybe he did get him at the top of the head. It wasn't a big knockdown, but hey, you know, Joseph Parker didn't complain. So that means it's a knockdown, right? So, you know, so he started off with 10-8 round, Chisora, and he came forward, he looked pretty good, right? Made the fight close, made it close enough where he's saying after the fight that he think he won the fight, and he can say that. You know, even Joseph Parker said he thought it can go either way. So those are things, you know, it was a close fight. I had a little bit more distance in between there. I said Joseph Park was doing the better work, right? But, you know, sometimes with the volume punching, it can, it can uh, you know, look that way. Uh, the, even the fight before, Katie Taylor versus your girl, what's her name, Natasha Jonas? <clears throat> I had Jonas winning that, you know. I mean, Jonas was hitting her with some stuff and, and got, had her hurt, I think, even more Katie Taylor, Taylor and was hitting the cleaner shots. And the Katie, uh, Katie Taylor would come back and throw five punches and land one, and maybe that would impress the judges. I don't think that should be possible. The cleaner shots the, 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 were coming in from uh, your girl Jonas, and that's the same thing with Joseph Parker. I mean, you know, they were doing a lot of clinching, which you, know, you better have clinched, you know, when you get when uh, Chizura comes on the inside. But then, you know, getting out, and there's two or three jabs, and then he was throwing the right hand, landing a few rights on uh, Chizura. So I just think that the the right man won this fight. He, albeit I rolled with Joe, but at the bottom line, he won this fight. Now, when you look at it, when you're fighting Derek Chizura, it's like this. You ain't going to, you know, you really, if you don't knock him out, you ain't going to get no love from him because he's, he's lost, you know, over ten fights now. And even the last, you know, he's, well, after you lose about seven, you know, you're not going to get too much credit by beating him. But Derek Chisora is resurgent, uh, been looking good, looked good for this fight, seemed like he trained hard for this fight, was able to keep the pressure on for 12 rounds. Uh, he brought that granite chin with him that he has. You know, he was taking some punches. Joe Sparkle was throwing some punches at him, throwing some right hands at him, but at the end of the day, uh, it didn't back him up. So, you know, he was applying the pressure, but I still think he lost the fight. Right now, people that will go for the other thing and say, "Well, we know the one that's applying the pressure; he should get the even rounds or get the rounds that are in question." Well, if you feel that way, how did you feel about Tyson Fury and Deontay Wilder in the first fight? He was applying the pressure, wasn't he? Plus, he had Tyson Fury down twice. But was he, you know, winning the rounds because he was applying the pressure? So, if you're gonna apply that applying the pressure rule then you would have to put, apply it in that other fight too. You know what I'm saying? Or other fights. So applying the pressure is good, but at the end of the day, if the other guy's doing cleaner work, then you have to factor that in. You can't just say applying the pressure. It has to be effective pressure. So at the end of the day, it was still a good fight. You know, good day or night for boxing. It is what it is. Uh, Joseph Parker can go forward. Now you're looking at other other fighters like uh, Alexander Uzik, who's boxing royalty. His last fight wasn't impeccable. Matter of fact, they, wasn't they saying the same thing about Chizura? Chizura <laughs> beat him too, is what some say. And I would say no, Chizura didn't beat him for the same reason. It was like he was there. He had a good fight against him, but he didn't beat him. And uh, that's what Chizura has to get in his get in his mind. You have to beat the guy. You know, even the fight you beat was. You were behind when you beat Carlos Tackle, right? You know, he's, most of the time he's behind in these fights. But um, he's still, you know, he's still there. I don't think Derek Chisora should have to retire yet. I think he can give anybody a decent fight. You're going to you're gonna have to bring a war if you come with Chisora. But I think Joseph Parker did enough to win the damn fight. And let's see where he goes forward. Doma Sports Talk, worldwide. And I'm up out of here, y'all.